Hi guys, welcome to ASA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix unknown device in device manager on Windows 11 and Windows 10. Basically, this can occur when Windows is unable to load the generic driver for a new device. Then it shows up as unknown device with an exclamation mark on device manager. Sometimes, this problem does get automatically fixed once your PC is connected with the internet. If this problem does not fix automatically, then you have to fix this issue yourself. Don't worry, there are some proper way you can fix this problem. Well, let's get started. First, you will need to download certain serial input output driver and chipset driver for your device from device manufacturer website. Now, go to drivers and manuals under support page. After that, select your device category, series and model. Now download the serial input output driver and chipset driver for your device. Ok, once downloaded, at first extract and install the chipset driver and make sure your PC connected with the internet. After that, extract and install the serial input output driver. After installing, just reboot once. I hope this simple method may help to solve your problem. Alright, as you can see, unknown device problem is solved. If not solved, then try this manual installation method. Now find the unknown device. After that, right click on unknown device and click on properties. Switch to the details tab. There you will notice a table called property. Select hardware IDs from the drop down menu. Note, the hardware ID you have copied should contain 2 or 4 digit number that specify the driver details. Now select that value and right click it to copy and paste it to notepad. Now you need to search using vendor and device number to know the exact information about unknown driver. Here, my vendor ID is 8086 and device ID 9D03. Well, now go to Device Hunt official website to find out the unknown device using vendor ID and device ID. Select the type PCI. Now, copy the vendor ID and device ID number. Now, simply paste the vendor ID number into vendor box. After that, paste the device number into the device box and click on search button. On the following search page, you will see the information of the hardware from the device details section. Like in my case, the unknown device is Sunrise Point LP SATA controller. This is the code name for an Intel chipset SATA controller. Ok, now go to device manufacturer website and download the latest driver for the system. Also you can download SATA controller driver from Microsoft update catalog. First, go to chipset manufacturer official website. Click on driver center under support. Click on chipset. Select your operating system. 
click on chipset INF utility. Now download setupchipset.exe file where you want to save. After that, simply double click on setupchipset.exe file to install Intel chipset driver. After that, just reboot once. After rebooting, go to device manager to check to see if the problem is solved or not. Ok, as you can see, the unknown device problem in device manager is solved. If not solved, then try the second way. First, go to Windows search and search for Microsoft Update Catalog. Now type SATA controller driver and click on search. Now download the latest SATA controller driver from here. After downloading extract.cap file. Now go to device manager by right click on Windows Start. Select and right click on unknown driver and then update driver. Click on browse my computer for drivers. After that, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Click on have disk button. And click on browse. Select iaacic.inf file from where you have extracted and click on OK. Now select the hardware model of your device and click on Next. Alright, as you can see the message, Windows has successfully updated your drivers. Now just reboot once, after that hopefully your problem will be solved. After rebooting, let me show you from Windows Device Manager. Ok, as you can see, our unknown device in device manager problem is solved. And our IDE, ATA and ATAPA controller driver is successfully installed. So, I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.